Yeah. Uh, another piece to add on top of it, and this is where I know a lot of us fall down um, because it involves accountability, and that is tracking your progress. So you've taken the time, you've, do you've doc documented the goal, uh, you've set it to be time bound, what the action steps are, you've maybe chunked it out so it's a little bit more manageable but then you're not actually then truly tracking where you are in the process. Why? Because guess what? That holds you accountable to it, right? So it's just kind of like, oh, if I don't do that, then I don't have to pay, it's like blinders, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and we're really, really guilty of not wanting to have sometimes deal with that accountability piece of it. But that's a, that's a key part uh, to track where you are in the process and, and know where you are in the different pieces. Because yeah, you may have to shift some of them around from a priority, mm -hmm. how much time mm -hmm. and effort you put into it, but how do you know how to and when to do that if you're not actually tracking your progress in each one of the, the particular situations. And I think uh, that's important because it's called a timeline for a reason. It's a time mm -hmm. and the line is okay. And you may have to push that line back or, or push it forward. Okay. I don't, I can't, I don't have to do this right now. I can't really commit to this right now, but next month I'll be able to, co to commit to it. And so if we stay on target with our, with our progress and we track our progress, then we'll know if we're meeting our goals. Some people in the, in the, in the quote stands for it and uh, stands true in this, for this as well. We think we have time. No, we don't. Um. Yeah. The problem is we think we have time. Right. Um, and so you want to track that progress because why set the goal if you're not going to track the progress? And the end goal is the progress, right? Or the lesson, if if not anything. Um, and so we it is very important that we track that. 100%. 100%. And the other one that and we've talked about what I'm going to share now before, but it definitely plays into this as well. And that is perfection. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you're working your way through these things, uh, just getting to a point of acceptance of that is, and again, you don't want to deliver C minus work, but if you get it up to a, a stance where you, you look, okay, I feel like this is a B plus or an A, A minus, whatever it is, be, become okay with that and move on to the next thing. And that's really hard for some of us to do because we mm. keep going back to revisit it and going back <laughs> to revisit it, right? Because I think we, we both had that problem. We both yeah. had that problem. Absolutely. Yeah. Because we so, both are, I'm not a perfectionist, but we already know from knowing you for a while that you are, um, or was a recovering. Recovering. Uh, <laughs> yeah, recovering. Uh, perfectionist. And so what I learned, because people were like always asking me, and calling on me and, and you know and one of my volunteers i was like you know i can't do everything and she said well you always act like you can so i was like oh okay well maybe that's i'm giving out this message right that i am the person that you call for this and so i had to go back and say well let me not give this message it, it won't be a message of i can't do anymore don't ask me nothing but it was okay i can only do so much and i am going to say no so you know sometimes it's, we don't um consciously become perfection. Sometimes we unconsciously, you know, show ourselves as we're going to always show up. And so that's what people expect. Absolutely. 100%. And that's true. Um, and again, you talked earlier, you mentioned, and this was your theme for this year. And we, I know we talked about it at the beginning of the year about mirroring energy, you know, mm -hmm. the, the effort and, and that kind of thing. And that's exactly what you were just talking about. There was people see you because you're putting out this it's like a I'm open sign, right? Oh, neon signs in the window. <laughs> I'm open to take on anything you put out, right? And sometimes you have to realize you say, you know what? I might have to back up off that or remember to turn that sign off certain times of the day, uh, which again goes back to what I was saying a minute ago of just basically being able to say, no, I can't, or I can't commit to that and be okay with that. Don't get guilted into it and, and the whole the whole nine yards with that. And it's not an easy task. It's not an easy task, let me tell y'all, because even now, just just being very transparent, I have um, three organizations that I really want to participate in. Like, I really want to. Um, and I have I have reached out and asked how to participate in these organizations, but I have not committed to it yet because... I don't, I won't have the time and I won't have the time to give to my or, my own organization by committing to these other organizations. So don't feel bad and don't beat yourself up if you don't, if you don't get it right the first time or the second time, if you're prone to, to, to 
um, say yes, it's going to be a hard task to start saying, no, I really don't have that. Because you have to say it to yourself first. Mm -hmm. And you Mm -hmm. have to realize it for yourself that I can't do those things. And so that's where I am is kind of weeding out what can you really do and you're going to give your all to it based on, I mean, um, versus you're going to do all these things uh, mediocre. And that's not what you want to give. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. So that thing that kind of sums up, um, you know, some of the things that you can do to help you um, get committed and uh, and understand, you know, having the goals and the timelines and and everything else. So that that wraps that into uh, kind of a, a pretty picture for you.